From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Earlier we explored the ways in which emotions like infatuation or love can skew your perception. As neurochemicals inundate certain areas of the brain, it can become alarmingly difficult to think things through objectively. After all, your brain's primary goal is to make sure that you survive and reproduce. Everything else is on the evolutionary scale a distant second. But, of course, love isn't the only emotion human beings experience. What about other emotions? Do they also warp your cognitive abilities? Here's where it gets crazy. Not all emotions have the same physiological effects. Take hate. Scientists at the University College London found that experiencing the emotion we recognize as hate has some notable similarities and differences to love. In this study, Professor Samir Zeki scanned the brains of subjects as they looked at photographs of someone they hated. Professor Zeki found that the brain has a hate circuit connecting three regions, the superior frontal gyrus, the putamen, and the medial insula. The activity in these regions correlates with the experience of hate. This circuit is distinct, including parts of the cortex and subcortex that, according to Science Daily, generate aggressive behavior and translate this into action through motor planning. The hate circuit also shares a few similarities with the experience of love, notably the putamen and insula. Professor Zeki notes that the putamen could be involved in the preparation of aggressive acts in a romantic context, and that earlier studies suggest the insula may be involved in responses to distressing stimuli. Viewing a loved or hated person, the professor continues, could be an equally distressing experience. But whereas brains in love show less activity in cortical regions associated with objectivity and judgment, brains experiencing hate retain activity in these areas, leaving an individual better prepared to calculate the next move of their opponent. What about other emotions? The feeling of depression has been found to weaken the activity of the hate circuit, as well as the ability to link risk and actions, or link emotions and rewards. Research by Dr. Zhang Feng Feng shows that depression may uncouple the hate circuit, leaving an individual with an impaired ability to control and learn from social or other situations which provoke feelings of hate towards the self or others, leading to an increased likelihood of both uncontrolled self-loathing and withdrawal from social interactions. In this context, it appears that depression might be even more dangerous than hate. And, argue some scientists, hate may, despite its ugly nature, be a fundamentally advantageous adaptation. This information only scratches the surface of hate and depression's effects on the human brain. It will take extensive research to fully comprehend what part hate plays in the long-term story of the human species, as well as how countless authority figures throughout history have controlled populations by constructing a hated other, whether a differing religion, a neighboring tribe, or a group competing for resources. Human beings, it appears, are hardwired to hate as much as we are to love. And, oddly enough, it appears that experiencing hate might leave a person more clear-headed than he or she would feel experiencing love. This is counterintuitive, but it isn't the weirdest thing. Professor Zeki's research team has found a measurable correlation between the amount of activity in the hate circuit and the level of hatred test subjects admitted to. According to the professor, this means that one day these brain scans might be admissible in court. It could be possible, for example, to measure how much a murder suspect hated a murder victim. Again, this sort of mind reading is years away, but the implications are vast and far-reaching. It may be that in the coming decades, your brain could betray secrets that you don't want the courts to know. You can control the fire of your emotions. You can balance your emotions and use them so that your personality becomes more pleasant. And you and those around you are a great deal happier and healthier. <laughs>